hi everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to be making this okra soup very delicious okra as you can see so we are going to start by seasoning our meat today i'm using goat meat you can use any meat of your choice now i have the goat meat washed um, in a pot i've added some onion some salt some seasoning kits I'm going to give that a good mix cover and allow to cook for some time without adding water in a separate pot I'm going to be cooking some other orish dishes <laughs> I have a um, tribe snail and for more cow skin so I'm going to also season this as well i don't like to add snail especially snail directly so <laughs> i don't know i like to cook them separate especially snail so i'm going to season it the same way i season the meat and add some water cover and allow to cook i'm Coming back to check on the meat. Guys, you can see all this juice, this all this water you see there is coming from the meat itself. I haven't added water and it has been cooking for like 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to be adding water because this is goat meat, guys. And this goat meat, eh? Nakakarakawano. <laughs> when we went to the place, the farm we bought it from. It's on now uh, old cargo goat meat, like you know, so you have to really cook it for a long time. So I'm going to be prepping other ingredients I'm going to be using in this recipe today. So I'm going to be cutting the okra, also the vegetable. I might be doing that off camera because the video is already long. So guys, our orishirishi is ready. So I'm going to be uh, frying that a little bit. If you have been following and you pay attention, you know I don't like fresh meat. Like when you cook meat and just add it direct to soup or whatever. I like to either bake air fry. You know, yes. I don't like fresh meat. So I'm going to do it not like hard. Guys, you can see it's ready. It's not dry, but a little bit kind of. If you haven't tried this, try it. You see how it tastes. It tastes very good. Like sometimes when some people eat my, you know, test my food, they were like, oh, auntie, how did you do the meat? I like how, you know, the crunchiness in it. Yeah. So guys, we are back to the meat and the meat is ready right now. I'm also going to uh, fry that a little bit. I've taken that off stove. In a pot, I'm going to add oil, red oil. Once I heat it up, you don't really have to bleach it. I'm going in with um, onion. I'm going to fry that. I give that a good mix, a good mix. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm going in with some crayfish. You guys know I love adding enough crayfish in my recipe. So yeah, I'm going to stir fry that for um 30 seconds. Then I'll go in with our pepper mix. This is pepper mix, guys. Red bell pepper and um habanero pepper. You can use any pepper of your choice. You can just use fresh pepper. Yes. So we're going to fry this. Um, I'm adding um seasoning cube. Give that a stir. I'm not going to be adding salt. So because <laughs> the meat was well seasoned. Excuse me. <clears throat> so I'm going in with um, some panla fish and some other dry fish. I'm going to give that a stir. Then I'll go in with our Rishirishi or more tribe that's Shaki. Then our air fried goat meat. You see, it's not dry, dry, just air fry a little bit. Then our snail. Guys, look at this soup. Start imagining how this soup will be. Hey, this soup, eh? Ha. <laughs> like, little time, you will come back again as for extra look at that so i'm going to add our main stock 
I let the mist talk. I'm, get, I'm going to give it a gentle stir, then cover and allow it to cook. We've come back to check on our our ofe. <laughs> yes, guys, look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I'll be adding okra. So the first batch was um was a little bit um I used food um food processor to process it a little bit to make it slimy. And I'll be adding the other one later. I added more water guys. I wanted I wanted this particular okra to be loose. So I'm going in with the chopped okra. Like this is regular chopped one. Because I I, so I divided it into two places. Then I used a food processor for the first one. Then this one I hand chopped it. Yes. More crayfish, guys. Trust me now. Trust me with crayfish. Ah, bad. No, 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 no. Yes, so what I do, basically, is um, instead of me to adjust with seasoning, more seasoning powder or cube, I go with crayfish. So I'm going to be adding spinach. I'm using spinach vegetable in this recipe. I'm going to cover that um, for a few seconds. I come back to check on it to give it a gentle stir you know once you add this you know <laughs> our food is almost ready right <laughs> look at this one chopping the cash spending the money spending the money chopping the cash so I'm going to be adding um, more spinach this one I did not cut it Yes, this is baby spinach, guys. Trust me, I know how to blend things in when it comes to cooking. Cooking is my calling. It's part of my calling. <laughs> Look at this, guys. If you come to my kitchen eh, at this point, hey, whoop, your nose go block. Let me tell you, your nose, if you don't take time, the nose will just block. Why? Because the aroma, eh, not before here. Yes, guys, so I'm going to come back to it. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Giving it a gentle stir, guys. Our soup is ready, ready. Ready, ready. Tell me what you're going to use for this beautiful, beautiful.